Is it on? So this hadith narrated by Imam Ibn Hibban and others, he's saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O Aisha, let me worship my Lord this night. She said, by Allah, والله إني لا أحب قربك وأحب ما سرك. By Allah, I love that you stay close to me. By Allah, I love that you stay close to me. I love your closeness to me. أحب قربك. I love that you stay close to me. But at the same time, وأحب ما سرك. And I love what you like. So, as if she's saying, I will prefer what you like over what I like. Because when you are happy, I am happy. So she said, then he stood up, he got up, he made wudu, then he started praying, and she said he was crying, until, until his lab got wet. He was crying until his lab got wet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he cried and cried and kept crying until he, his beard got wet. And until his tears reached the, the ground, reached the floor. Then Bilal came to him asking for permission or telling him about Salah time, Fajr Salah time. And when he saw him crying, he said, Ya Rasulullah, why are you crying? And Allah already forgave you everything. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Afala akunu abdan shakura, shouldn't I be a grateful servant? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar So one more time Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha said what? What did she say? By Allah I love to stay close to you So he's telling her Ya Aisha let me this night worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Let me like dedicate most of this night for ibadah This is your right This is your night and you're right, but give me, let me make ibadah this, this night. She said, by Allah, I love to stay close to me. I love that I stay close to you. But at the same time, I love what pleases you, what pleases you. So as I mentioned, as if she's saying, I will prefer what you love over what I love. Because when you are happy, I am happy. So he, got up sallallahu alaihi made wudu and prayed and started crying sallallahu alaihi wasallam until his his blessed beard got wet and his lab got wet and he kept crying until fajr time until the floor where he's sitting got wet imagine yani this is an authentic hadith is very authentic hadith imagine like his lab got wet the floor got wet where he's crying, Allahu Akbar. This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What about us? La hawla wa la quta illa wa May Allah forgive us. So Sayyidina Bilal came asking him that salah time is now. So he saw him crying. He said, Ya Rasulullah, why are you crying? Allah already forgave you everything. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam does not have sins. 
He said, shouldn't I be a grateful servant? This night I received an ayah. Woe to those who read it and do not reflect on it. This is, the, this is why I brought this hadith. This is not in the Afkar. Okay? I mentioned the hadith in the Afkar. I mentioned it. This is not in the Afkar. So he said, I have received an ayah this night. Woe to the ones who read it and do not reflect on it. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتِ اللي أولي الألباب سورة آل عمران آية 190 So uh, this is the, the occasion of revealing this, these ayat or these last 11 ayat of Al Imran that we are recommended to read them when we wake up at night before Fajr and we look at the sky, right? And this is why I told you, if you cannot go out, at least open the window and look at the sky and reflect. Woe to the ones who read it and don't reflect on it because it's all about reflection. It's all about contemplation on the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creation of the heavens and the earth. Surely in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternate alternation of day and night there are indeed signs for people of understanding there are signs for people of understanding who are they alladhina yadhkuruna allaha qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkarun wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batilan subhanaka faqina adhab an-nar those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while they are standing, while they are sitting, while they are lying down on their sides. This means in all of their situations, they are remembering Allah. And they contemplate the wonders of the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, our Lord, saying or thinking or supplicating in their hearts or in their war, in their with their tongues, our Lord, Rabbana, ma khalaqta hada watila. You have not created this in vain. You have not created this for nothing. Not for naught have you created all this. Means you have not created all this for nothing or in vain. Subhanak, glory be to you. You're beyond any, beyond doing anything in vain. Subhanak, faqina adab nar So protect us from the hellfire. Faqina adab nar Subhanak, faqina adab nar Amazing ayat, and this is why I, I, these ayat, since we recommended to say them, I recorded them in one of the videos in, in the. Uh, recitation playlist you can watch them inshallah so that you get used to them and you memorize them and you understand them inshallah in the tafsir class if Allah wills uh, the plan is to make tafsir for those ayat after we finish uh, kursi and some of the other ayat in the tafsir uh, Saturday tafsir class so then I will just read rough translation of the of the rest of these ayat very quickly so uh, and here Amazing dua start and it's very nice to memorize this dua to say it anytime after salah anytime you say this dua Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batinan subhanaka faqina adabana So it begins with reflection this is why he's telling you woe to the one who's reading it and does not reflect on it so what's the purpose if you're reading and you so and it urges us to reflect on the creation of the heavens and the earth why? Because the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than our own creation, as Allah says in the Quran. But most people don't know, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than your own creation. Because those huge, they say celestial, celestial uh, galaxies and bodies, and this cosmos. It's, it's something that really shows you the existence of the Creator 
and the greatness of the Creator and the wisdom of the Creator and the power of the Creator and the will of the Creator and the knowledge of the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So reflect, and this is why Rasulullah urged us in the authentic hadith, تَفَكَّرُوا فِي خَلْقِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تَفَكَّرُوا فِي ذَاتِ اللَّهِ Think and reflect and contemplate on the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He spread around in your own self, in the heavens and the earth, everywhere. Why? Because that will guide you to His existence and to His attributes. But don't think about His essence. <clears throat> Amazing hadith, important hadith. Don't think about His essence. Why? Because no matter what you think, you will reach nothing. Why? Because there is nothing like Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? As he said, There's nothing like him. And he's the all seeing, the all hearing. So don't overburden yourself and your mind in thinking about something that is unreachable for you. It's beyond your capabilities. You rather should think about his creation that will guide you to what you need to know about him. His greatness and majesty and love and care and wisdom and will and his attributes. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this ibadah, which is ibadah to tafakkur, is missing among most Muslims. Most Muslims, they don't even think about this. They go places, they go picnics, right? They go, go on picnic, but they, they don't reflect. They just eat and play. They, even though they see, subhanAllah, we went to the Smoky Mountains, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, go and see. Go and see the, the, the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See the, the, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go to the, take your children and take your family and go. Go and see the, the take, see the, uh, take them to the zoo. Take your kids to the zoo, take your family to the zoo and see, subhanAllah, we saw the elephant. How it's, how it's catching the, the, the branches of, of the trees with its, uh, what, what is it? trunk with it's a trunk and this trunk is rounded and how it's catching it then subhanallah one of the uh, elephants we saw it it raised the branch it's like big branch and it, this elephant it had horns so it raised it up up then it put it with the horns and it broke it <laughs> it broke the branch with its horns then started eating just as if you you held it with your hand and you make it like this, it, it held it, put it like, fixed it with its horns then, with the trunk, broke it. Then, and how it's, uh, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, it's amazing. Go and see, and let your children see and tell them, see how, see the greatness of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala's creation. Who can create this? Who can do this? Allah Akbar. So tafakkur is very important is extremely important, is a great ibadah. And there are some hadith of, about tafakkur. This is the main one. There are some of them, they're not, uh, they're very unauthentic. So anyway, we should inshallah one time talk about this. And in our dhikr, part of our dhikr that we do every Friday is, that we do every week is, is this contemplation. So contemplation about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the attributes and the blessings also. So if someone will object, what do you, what are you doing guys? You sit and you, you feel Allah's, uh, you feel your heart is beating Allah's name and you think about the creation and you think about Allah's, where did you get this from? We got it from here. From this ayah we got it. We got it from the ayah. Do you have time to sit and reflect about Allah's creation, about Allah's blessings upon you, about your sins and your relation with Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you have this time? And you let your heart beat His name and think about His greatness and majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala? So, alhamdulillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us to this great ibadah. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we be reminders of our brothers and sisters to, to uh, uh, do this ibadah in, in, in its different types, whether going outside to the universe and reflection, reflecting and contemplating or looking at the sky and the stars, etc. every uh, day before Fajr or, or uh, sitting and reflecting and thinking about uh, His greatness and majesty and attributes subhanahu wa ta'ala and your relation, between, between, uh, your relation with Him. 
Rabbana ma oh Lord you have not created this in vain Subhanak no you are beyond creating anything in vain Faqina adabna protect us from the hellfire Rabbana innaka man tudkhil an-nar faqad akhzaytah wa ma lil-dhalimin min ansar oh Lord whomever you admit to the hellfire then you have surely covered them with shame and the uh, wrongdoers will never find any helpers وَمَا لِلْظَالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَرِ رَبَّنَا أَوَرْ لُورْدْ إِنَّنَا سَمِعْنَا مُنَادِيًا يُنَادِي لِلْإِيمَانِ أَنْ آمِنُوا بِرَبِّكُمْ فَآمَنَّا رَبَّنَا فَاغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا وَكَفِّرْ عَنَّا سَيِّئَاتِنَا وَتَوَفَّنَا مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ Our Lord, we have heard a caller calling us to the faith, calling us to the iman. Saying, believe in your Lord. So we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins. And blot out from us our iniquities. And take to yourself our, uh, our souls. Uh, and take our souls in the company of the righteous ones. Take our souls and put us with the, with the righteous ones. ربنا وآتنا ما وعدتنا على رسولك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف المعد Our Lord give us what you have promised us through the tongue or through your messengers through the tongues of your messengers through your messengers and save us from shame on the day of judgment you never break your promise إنك لا تخلف المعد then the reply comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ Their Lord responded to them. Means He will respond to you subhanahu wa ta'ala فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ أَنِّي لَا أُضِيعُ عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ مِّنْكُمْ مِّنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى بَعْضُكُمْ مِّنْ بَعْضٍ فَالَّذِينَ هَاجَرُوا وَأُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأُوذُوا فِي سَبِيلِي وَقَاتَلُوا وَقُتِلُوا لَأُكَفِّرَنَّ عَنْهُمْ سَيَّآتِهِمْ وَلَأُدْخِلَنَّهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ ثَوَابًا ثَوَابًا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حُسْنُ الثَّوَابِ He said subhanahu wa ta'ala Ayah 195 And their Lord has accepted of them and answered them Never will I suffer to be أَنِّي لَا أُضِيُّ عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ مِنْكُمْ Never I will suffer to be lost the work of any of you Means I will never cause the work of any of you to be to get lost Means I will reward you with all for all of your deeds, whether males or female. Min dakar unta. Baadukum min baad. Some of you are part of the others, so it doesn't no dis no discrimination, males and females. Baadukum min baad. So those who have left their homes or expel forced to leave their homes, faladina hajaru. Those who migrated. وَأُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ And they, forced, they were forced to leave their homes or houses. And they suffered harm for my cause. وَأُوذُوا فِي سَبِيلِ وَقَاتَلُوا وَقُتِلُوا and they, were, and they fought and they were killed. Surely, لَأُكَفِّرَنَّ عَنُمْ سَيَّاتِهِمْ I will forgive them their sins. وَلَأُدْخِلَنَّهُمْ And I will admit them into gardens with rivers flowing beneath. As a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ثَوَابًا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حُسْنُ الثَّوَابِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the best of rewards. So these ayat all about reflection, then about some dua. Then the last set of ayat is about the disbelievers. Very nice ayat. لَا يَغُرَّنَّكَ تَقَلُّبُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فِي الْبِلَادِ Don't get, don't get uh, deceived or don't be deceived by the power of the disbelievers in this life. Let not the moving about the disbelievers in the land deceive you. Let not the uh, strutting about of the disbelievers through the land deceive you. So their uh, might, their power, don't let that deceive you. Why? Listen why. Mata'un qalil. This is a sh short enjoyment. Mata'un qalil. Thumma ma'wahum jahannam wa bi'isal mihan. Then their ultimate abode is hell. And the worst 
abode it is indeed, or the best, the, the worst place to rest it is. So this is little enjoyment, it's temporary strength, then their ultimate abode is hell, and what an evil bed to lie on. لكن الذين اتقوا ربهم for those for those who fear their Lord there are gardens under which the rivers flow this is another time Allah is saying therein are they to dwell forever as an entertainment from your Lord that which is with Allah is the best for the righteous ones فما عند الله خير للأبرار then Allah سبحانه وتعالى talks about the people of the book that some of the people of the book وإن من أهل الكتاب and there are certainly from among the people of the scriptures, means Jews and Christians, there are those who believe in Allah and in that which has been revealed to you and in that which has been revealed to them, humbling themselves before Allah. They do not sell the verses of Allah for a little or a trivial price. For them is a reward with their Lord. Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swift in, rec in reckoning. Then the last ayah, very important ayah, O you who believe, Ya ayu alladheena amanu, sbiru, wa sabiru, wa rabitu, wa attaqu Allah la'allakum all you who believe, have patience, isbiru, and persevere in patience and constancy. Have patience and even compete with others in patience and remain patient. Warabitu. Strengthen each other. Or remain steadfast and be careful of your duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَرَابِطُوا وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ and have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَبِرُوا وَصَابِرُوا وَرَابِطُوا وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you may be you may be successful may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all that of the successful ones. Mm -hmm. So inshallah, these, this is, of course, I feel I did not give the, the, these blessed ayat their right, but at least now you, you have the key inshallah, and you can, you can build on that, and uh, try to memorize those ayat, and every day before Fajr try to recite them, and uh, the dua, the very nice dua that they include also try to make it, uh, and memorize it inshallah. We will uh, stop here. So I was thinking when we we're going to prayer that uh, if we make dhikr before Maghrib, like uh, 25 minutes before Maghrib, uh, then, and this is how our, our uh, sheikhs in, in Syria always, uh, they start the class at Maghrib, the lecture at Maghrib, and always, always half an hour before Maghrib, you find dhikr session all the time, always. In all of their lectures, same way, 